Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. It's been a hot minute since I last posted and I know I said I was hoping to post about two times a week and I haven't stuck to it. This last week has been hectic, I've been a bit here, there, everywhere, but I finally got around to filming and this video I'm actually really excited to film as it's a newbie to my channel and it's actually one video I watch all the time on YouTube and it's a blogger I really admire her taste with so this video is inspired by Megan Ellaby and this is going to be a fashion wish list so what bits I'm hoping to pick up in the near future and what bits I've been loving and lusting over these are all high street so if you're anything like me can't afford the designer labels don't worry, me neither. So I'm just going to be digging through some latest trends on Zara, Mango and ASOS. So if you want to see what bits I'm hoping to pick up, I'm literally praying they keep it all in my size, as payday could not come sooner and they'll be going straight into my basket. So don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. We are so close to 10k and I could not be more thrilled for everyone who has joined me on my channel. So hi if you're new and thank you all so much for joining me and for returning people. Thank you so much for joining me back on a brand new video. You guys have no idea how much it means to me but enough of the cheesy old stuff. Let's just get straight into what bits I have been loving. If you see my head keep looking down it is because I am actually doing it live on my laptop so I am looking through the clothes and kind of talking you through it as it were at the same time. <laughs> so first up is Zara. I love everything Zara do and more recently actually than ever before purely for the reason that I think they're really drilling down on the way that they kind of exhibit their clothing on their website. There's something about their website I just absolutely adore and I find it really easy to shop online. But the first item I want to show you are these incredible sandals. Now these are embellished with pearls, which is a trend I have jumped on the bandwagon with this summer and I truly can't wait to get these for my holiday. I think they're so cute and the detailing is all in the shoe. For that reason, I think it makes an outfit complete and it also gives it a little bit of jazz. In the summer, it's quite nice to kind of like go a bit OTT and especially on holiday. It's like the one time I always think that you can go overboard and really enjoy styling and jazzing up outfits. So this is the reason I think I'm gonna get them. They are 39.99, which it's an all right price, I don't think it's that bad, but if you look at them close up, oh my god, they are magnificent. They are just me in a shoe. Zara sandals are also really durable, so that is the reason that I love getting sandals from Zara. I completely trust them and they do not break on me, but I have high hopes for the embellishment. And I'm pretty sure the beads will remain on it, let's hope, let's hope Zara, I have high expectations. So these hopefully are going to be my first purchase, let's just pray they stay online and they stay in my size. That's the only good thing about having small feet. Size three doesn't seem to go out of stock that often, especially on Zara, so I feel like I'm winning in that respect, but oh my god. I feel like I could wear it multi-purpose. I could wear it with like simple outfits or jazz it up like this amazing model seems to be doing. I mean, they're killing it. Okay, now second up is this bag that I have been lusting over for probably about two months. It's remained in the Zara store in Norwich and I keep going past it and wanting to buy it, but I just feel like I can't justify it when I haven't had payday. Um, but I think for how long I've been lusting over it, it's definitely gonna be a purchase of mine on payday. So this bag is only 30 pounds and it's not bad, but it's not massive at the same time, so it's kind of a fashion bag and it's not a durable bag. Well, it might be durable, it is Zara and the bags do last, but that's not really the aim. It's more of a fashion statement piece and it's kind of quite a jazzy piece, so for that reason it would just be for the aesthetic. But this is such a sweet bag. Now I love it because it has stripes. Not many bags have good old thick monochrome stripes and I feel like it's great for summer. Wearing it with a red lip or wearing it with red earrings a bit like this will look really good. I just think it's so cute and also the inside it has like three different compartments which is really handy. I love little dividers and handbags but obviously I'm driven by the aesthetic. It's just so beautiful and I really could see myself having this bag and I'd like to take it on holiday with me in Ibiza. I think it would be really cute. So this is the two-tone striped cross body bag and it's $29.99. Let's just hope, like I said in the last one, it stays in stock as I definitely, definitely, definitely want this for payday. Okay, now moving swiftly on to Mango. My God. Every campaign, every collection, everything Mango releases, I love. I feel like they've really upped their game this summer. And for the first time in a very long time, I think they're actually quite closely in the same love for Zara. So I'm feeling quite positive about Mango. I feel like they've really upped their game. But this item, I've been wanting for actually probably about three months. 
I was waiting for it to drop online and I saw it on one of their campaigns. It was a woman wearing it in the desert and it looked stunning. It suited her figure so well and I was like, I need that. I need that right away. But of course it didn't drop for a little while as they're sneaky. They like you to lust over things before it actually goes live on the website. And then I kind of forgot about it. So when I saw this actually go up online, it had already dropped into sale. So it's only a matter of time now before I get it. But this is the Maxi Buckle Dress from Mango. and. I love the detailing. Obviously you guys can see that around the middle section it has like a big silver embellished ring. I love anything that draws and accentuates your waist in. I think it's a really nice statement piece and it's something you can also wear with other jewellery and it will all synchronise really beautifully. That is the main reason I like it but also I love the shape of the arms. It's kind of like a cropped bell sleeve. It looks really comfy and it's like jersey material so that is another reason I was really drawn to the piece and of course it's white or cream. Whether it's white or cream, everyone knows I'm a monochrome girl, so this needs to go straight into my wardrobe. So if you've watched my previous videos, you probably know that I have a little bit of a slight obsession with buying jackets or coats. Now summer is the one season which I find it most difficult to buy coats or jackets, but trench coats have been going a long way this summer. And especially when I'm looking online high street retailers, they are slaying the trench coats at the moment. So this one immediately caught my attention. This is a striped cotton trench from Mango. This is also in the sale and it's 50% off. Look at the detailing on that. It's, I mean, it makes my eyes go a bit funny if I'm honest, but I think this would be such a beautiful piece to wear with clocks underneath, like a white or a black outfit. Keep it quite simple and let the jacket do all the talking. I love, love, love vertical stripes. I'm not so much for horizontal stripes, but at the moment, vertical stripes are winning my heart and soul. And I love a good old trench coat that does all the talking, and this jacket is by far the one I need in my wardrobe. It also has a really easy tie-up, as you can see at the back. It has a removable belt, so for that reason, you can like tie it up, you can make it look really stylish. You could probably even wear it as a dress, if I'm honest. It might look quite nice. Wearing it with like, some red lipstick, red earrings. It would look really festive and really beautiful. Now, this is by far my favourite product of the whole haul and I'm blown away. I've been thinking millions of times over what outfits I could pair with it and I think it's quite a versatile piece that I could have in my wardrobe and I'm just praying it stays in stock. Please, if it goes out of stock, I'm literally... I don't even know. So these are the trimmed leather ankle boots from Mango. Now the reason I love these is because of the unique two stripes. It is black, red and white. These three colours, I'm sold already. But I think it's really different. I don't really see ankle boots a lot of the time with different detailing on it. It's usually just plain. And high street retailers in general just regurgitate the same boots every winter or every autumn. And it doesn't really change. I mean, a boot's a boot, but this one... They've kind of revamped it and for that reason I think it looks really good. They are $89.99 but for a durable boot I don't mind spending it and if I was going to wear it obviously on a reoccurring basis then it's going to be worth it. £90 isn't the most to spend on boots, I have spent more. Everything from it, like the detailing is just absolutely stunning. It's also quite tailored and I feel like wearing this with a blazer, wearing it even with loose dresses, kind of for both vibes I think will work really well. And it's not a very high heel, which if it was a little bit higher, I'd probably love them a little bit more, if that is possible. But this is definitely an everyday boot, and it has a good old chunky zip. No problem with that. I prefer zips. And because they are new to this season, they have every single size. So go grab your hands on them before they shoot out of the store, honestly. I think they're going to go like anything. Now moving on to H&M, I actually prefer them a lot more in the winter. I feel like they invest a lot of time in their knitwear and their jackets in kind of winter time and that is a season I probably buy from them the most. And having said that, there are a few things here and there I do like and I do always keep looking online on their website but this one stole my attention. As you can probably see, it is because it is a trench coat shock horror it's a beautiful bright red it kind of looks a bit coral online so i don't know actually i'd have to receive it in the post to know exactly but i love this because of this tie up sleeve i'm all about this this summer any detailing especially when it's kind of around the arms can look really pure and on a trench coat it just gives it that little extra something i like it because it has nice structure it seems quite flowy but you can tell it's obviously made pretty well and it has a little bit of gold hardware if it was silver i prefer it a little bit more but it's red and gold red and silver doesn't really go the same and for 59.99 i mean that's quite a decent price for h&m it's a really good tailored piece and there's a lot of fabric so i feel like it's gonna go straight in my basket okay now 
so far I've kind of shown you a lot of trench coats and kind of more heavy things like boots so I had to throw in a top I find it really difficult to buy tops I love this one that I've got on at the moment from Missy Empire so thank you so much for sending it to me I love the frill it's gorgeous but I find it quite hard to find tops in general I like to keep it quite simple and one place actually that are quite good for doing that is H&M so this is a laced cotton top you can tell that it's quite thick cotton material and it's one I think that will crease so easily so it would have to be one I hang up don't have anything around it and obviously always iron it before wearing but I really love the detailing this is quite a good price I think £25 but the detailing obviously is just lovely I think it's Jose Eyelets it has like big silver hardware holes and it has the material kind of threaded through it so it's quite nice and it looks really fitted on the body I love it I think it would look really lovely with mum jeans and to kind of have it tucked in or overlaid or even with skirts I think it looks quite classic quite tailored could obviously wear it out in the evenings and it would look really beautiful so 25 pounds not bad at all okay so last but not least moving on to the last retailer asos i should say online retailer this piece is one that i've actually wanted for quite a long time but i've just never got around to buying it do you guys ever find something and keep the tab open for such a long time but you just never get around to actually buying it well this is this outfit oh my god it's going to be so suitable and really pretty for ibiza it's really bohemian really chic it's really fresh and also it's really loose so you're not going to have to worry about if you've eaten a lot of food or alcohol in the evening you're going to have a food baby probably but you're not going to see it in this dress it's quite sheer at the same time so i feel like it's definitely a holiday dress but the colors are just so beautiful i'm not really one for experimenting with color apart from having the odd splash of like red but that's pretty much it so this one has yellows it has blues they all work really well and kind of synchronize in harmony together this is 42 quid I think it's pretty good it has embellishment quite heavy on it as well which you can see has been like sewn so 42 pounds I do not mind spending so this is the glamorous petite embroidered smock dress with frill layered sleeve details oh, that's a tongue twister it has amazing bell sleeves I mean they're three tier as well so it has a lot of detailing and a lot of structure but it just blows me away not really much I can say about it just because it does all the talking I don't think you'd need to overcomplicate this outfit wear anything with it apart from just some plain little black shoes okay now last up because of the English weather I had to throw in a long sleeve kind of jumper or thin jumper I think that's what it is anyway this is the ASOS jumper with wrap and tie I love a little bit of detailing on a jumper never goes amiss in my wardrobe at all and I love the fact that it's a tie up it's 28 pounds which I think is a really decent price and it's white or cream of course and I'm really drawn to kind of the style and the shape of it I really like the fact that it's also v-neck it's definitely more structured in the fact that it is v-shaped I don't think it would have the same effect if it went all the straight way across she's wearing it with quite baggy jeans as well which I don't really have that much baggy jeans but with mum jeans or just skinny jeans in general with trainers I think this would be a really good casual thing for me to buy they're saying a size 4 it's not in stock but I would actually probably go a size 8 or a 6 it's quite long on her arms I understand but I quite like that if not I could always roll it up anyway I like oversized jumpers so badly anyway so I probably wouldn't want it fitted although it might come down a little bit far on my boobs so do watch out for that but so that concludes the end of the video I'm aware it's been a massive ramble but I really do hope I have helped inspire some of you with some new things that you can add to your wardrobe these are all quite reasonable prices I like to think as well so for that reason I hope it hasn't been too mind-blowing and it's been okay to watch but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also subscribe with this little button here come be part of my little family here on YouTube I'd love 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 to have you back but to stop my rambling on now I will love you and leave you but have a lovely day slash evening wherever you are and I can't wait to see you in my next video lots of love bye